Black Dog Cyber Works. Record time, one week from the US. Let's go and have a look. Good afternoon. Parcels arrived. Black Dog Cycle Works. This parcel will almost finish the build on the uh, on the new BMW for us. Um, this is a protection package from Black Dog Cycle Works in the US. Had a real, real good look around everything locally to try and find something sort of comparable, uh, protection-wise, cost. Couldn't really find a great deal, so ended up going offshore with it. Uh, full disclosure, we've paid <laughs> absolute top dollar. We've paid every cent for this, including import duty and taxes. So be mindful of that if you're bringing stuff into the country. Um, so without any further ado, one knife, let's get into it and have a look, see what we've actually got. Pretty well packaged. Get on that. We've got some instructions, some stickers, some awesome black dog stickers. Uh, return policy. So we've got four components I think to this, we've got some cylinder head guards for either side of the bike, that's what that package looks like. We've got uh, radiator guards, that's what this one here is, going by the packaging here. Super, super well packaged. Uh, we then have two reinforcement bars uh, for the crash bars back to the frame. Um, so the standard GS bars are sort of known for if you tip them over they're a bit soft and they will be in So this should alleviate that problem. Uh, and then the big one, look at that box. The big one is the skid plate. Um, just by the feel of that, it feels mighty chunky. Let's have a look. Again, super well packaged. Awesome, awesome quality. And a nice hammer tone finish. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, four, maybe five mil thick, fully welded, ready to go. Uh, this looks like the installation brackets and the kit that go with it. So we'll leave those until we actually get to the install. Uh, let's have a quick look at the radiator guards. QR code for instructions and an effort to cut down on paper. <laughs> uh, radiator guards, pretty good. Cool, Black Dog Cycle Works. Oh, really nice product. This is the uh, reinforcement bars for the crash bars. That ain't gonna bend anytime soon. Look at the quality of that. Awesome. We'll be bending other bits before we bend that. That's for sure. Uh, more instructions and a couple of little mounts for that. The last one is the cylinder head protection. We'll just pull one of these out. Again, we'll... Uh, same thing. Nice bit of gear. Got the little dog engraved on there. Um, if I've got the... Of course I didn't get the right side. <laughs> if I get the right side, we'll just... I did have the right one, but it's um, right there like that. Bits like that. Oh, beautiful. A few of those. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get into getting these installed. And, uh, yeah, we'll have a fully protected bike ready for anything then. First job, radiator guards. Uh, 
need to remove the stock ones, T25, one here, one here, one up here. Uh, and then the same on the other side, one down low, one up here, one up here. That will let us take out the stock guard and then as simple as install the new guard and replace the bolts. Should be pretty straightforward. Let's see how we go. One done. Now rinse and repeat for the other side. First side looks pretty good. Looks a good. All right, lower crash bar has been removed. One from each side, pretty straightforward. Four bolts on each. Uh, and then we've also removed from in here, the main, uh, main carrier bolt. That is to be replaced. And take this bolt out and it's gonna be replaced with this one. And we're gonna reuse the nut that come off this um, as a part of the installation for the support bar for the crash bar. While he's reading the instructions, we've got the first bolt through and there's this little bracket here that the bar will go onto. So that's all through, relatively straightforward. Next steps. Next step is to reinstall the crash bars, pretty much, to and, start. And, and kind of fit the bar yeah, fit the around. The bar as well, so. And then at the same time, we'll work out how the uh, engine guards go, because I think we have to work them around. Yes. So yep. We've got two sets of instructions on the go. Well, let's see what we can do. See how it goes. Yeah, so we've got the crash bar back on. And the bracket initially and then just the bracket across so hands are too big for this caper looks good eh figured get that in place before this gets tightened up center this one up now on here and we're just there Morning. Coffee. It's uh, after 10 because it's cold. that's how long it took for the day to warm up. <laughs> Headed out to the garage and carry on. Someone tells me there's not much left to do. No, just the, just the, um, the bottom. Yeah? Are we doing it out here in the sun or are we going to do it in the garage? No, we can pull it out in the sun. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Four bolts, six bolts? Five bolts, oh. two at the front, two in the middle, and one at the rear. Cool. All right, so plate off. This is what we started with. And this is what we're going to fit on. Just a little bit more protection for underneath. And there's been a little bit of struggle working up under here, but we've got the two mounting points in. That one was Front one's fine. The rear one's a little tricky with the um, the hose clamp, clamp uh, scenario, but I think we've got them in the right place there now. So we'll uh, have a go fitting the plate up, and then we'll tighten them off once plates the the bash plates actually fitted up. All right, it is in four bolts wedged down in two there couple on the side at the back and all in place. Job done. Don't know that I'm going to be a, a YouTuber that uh, does install videos. Not really my thing. So sorry about the quality of this one, but it's about <laughs> as good as it gets. It's on. Well, we don't have to do it too much more, hey? No, I've just got to put a couple of new covers back on. Yeah. Ready to go.